Oh, it's an electric atmosphere inside the building tonight for this Western Conference clash. Shane Savolsky, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you all the details here for EA Sports. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. The Sharks take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Takes a shot. That's kicked away with the pad by Kekkonen. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Cutting to the front of the net. Big time stop. Reimer's able to make an outstanding save. His quickness and positioning give him the chance to even get a piece of this. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. A chance! Stopped by the goaltender. Reimer's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The game is still scoreless. The Sharks win it in the defensive zone. Sends a pass over. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Takes it to the front. Rejected by the blocker. One of the things he was working on is trying to control where the puck goes after he stops it. The corner is a pretty safe place. Chance in front. Scores. It's in the back of the net. The Sharks take the comfortable position of playing with the lead here, Ray. In the middle chunk of the period, you're looking for momentum to go one way or the other. They've got it now. Shark score. Scored by number 54, Jonathan Dunn. Puts the puck on net with the stop. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Through center. Six minutes, 31 seconds. To the front. Good defensive effort to poke it away. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Turns it aside with the glove. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Sharks have taken a 1-0 lead. Erickson X won the draw. Shuts him down. Taken along the wall by Erickson Eck. Here he is, wrestling on net. Oh, stick save and a butte. Yeah, I hate it when I miss chances like this, James. You don't get many that are this quality. You want to put them away because you don't know when the next one's going to come. Here in the back half of this period, 1-0 the score. Minnesota's got it in the offensive zone. And that's broken up. Up along the wing. Moves into the slot. The Wild have the puck in their own zone. Here they come up along the wing. And now it's over to Foligno. And makes the save. Takes the pass. Gains the zone on the left wing. Takes a shot. Turned aside by the goaltender. Slides it diagonally to Hartman. Up the neutral zone now. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. San Jose's got it across the line. Here's a chance. Denies him with the pad. Moves it to Greenway. Here's the shot. Oh, how did that stay out? It goes off the inside of the post. Greenway's got to be thinking, what do I have to do to get a break? He's created chances. He's been in the right spot. But all he can do is hit the post. Denies him in front. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Couture is known to bring the offense for his team. Here in the later stages of this period, we got a 1-0 game to this point. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. He was locked in there. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Misses! Well, that thing's not going to be used again tonight. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone.
There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back for period number two in a moment. Both teams had a chance to recharge, and the officials set to drop the puck here on period number two. San Jose's won it. Takes a shot, comes up with the stop. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. Here's a shot, takes that one right in the logo. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. The Wild have it on the attack. That's gloved by Reimer. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Minnesota's got it and they're on the attack. Here's a chance! Denies him with the pad. Looking to set up offensively. Takes a shot. Turns it aside with the glove. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Made that stop. Spurgeon's gaining momentum. Drives it to the crease. Comes up with the stop. Here's a shot. And there's another stop. Reimer's locked in. Every puck hits him and stays in front of him. On the odd chance there's a rebound, he tracks that well, too. Here he is in close. Puts it wide. Maybe trying to be a little too fine as he shoots it wide of the net. He was totally locked in on that play. Spurgeon's got the puck in his own zone. Handles the pass up to the middle of the ice. Pad save. He's on it tonight. Reimer's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Oh, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The Sharks lead it 1-0. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Steps inside the line. And not much on that one. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Well past the midway mark of this period. San Jose's up one zip. Hartman's won the faceoff. Picked up along the boards by Goligoski. Carries the puck up through center. Cutting to the slot. Oh, and it's another save on the play. Minnesota's on the attack. San Jose's got the puck in the defensive end. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Felino. That pass goes a little sideways. And he regains control of the puck. Nice pass. The Sharks take it across the line. Here he is in front. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. From center, they get into the attacking area. Snaps one here in the slot. Oh, what a save in front. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. Angles it over to Hurdle. The Sharks play it along the boards. Quick shot. Scores! That's back-to-back, -back, Ray. Well, the, the game has changed. Those two goals here really have changed the outlook. The Sharks have made their way back to center ice with now a little breathing room, a two-goal lead late in the second. After the initial rush on the bench, the coach was down and back on the bench, reminding everybody, don't take any time off. Let's get to the intermission where we are. Stop that one. Driving right to the front. Big stop by the keeper. No, sir. 
Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Sharks now lead by two. Erickson X won it in their own end. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. They've got numbers here. Here's the chance. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. Minnesota's won the draw and they'll go to work. And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? Minnesota's game plan really can't change or shouldn't change too much. They've owned time of possession. They've had the puck a lot. They just haven't been able to catch the game. Nowhere for that shot to go through. goligoski has got it in the defensive end. Minnesota's got it against the boards. San Jose's got the puck. Moves it quickly over to Couture. From the slot, wrist shot. Oh, a clutch save! Back to the blue line. Way too high on that one. You can't shoot it up there from the point. You're not going to have any friends in front of the net screen in the goalie soon. Here's a shot. Too much congestion in front. Reimer's going to cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. Nearing the midway mark of the period, the Sharks lead this one to zip. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Through center along the wing. Takes it into the slot. And that's denied by the goaltender. Quick pass to Zuccarello. Minnesota's on the attack. The Sharks move the puck in the defensive zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And that one's turned away. Kakinen's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. Past the halfway mark of this period. The Sharks are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. Minnesota's got possession here in their own end. And now he tries to get it across to Zuccarello. Gains the zone. Here he is, shot right in front. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Gains the zone through the middle. Takes a shot. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Great read with the stick. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Quick shot, denied by the goaltender. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Late goings of this period. 2-0 is the score. San Jose's won the faceoff deep in their own end. The Sharks have it now. Gains the zone from the right. Cuts to the paint. Kakinen's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. This is a faceoff. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Golagoski stick handling in his own zone. Turned aside. Quick feed to Greenway. 
steps across the blue line. Puts it on net. Fantastic save! San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Here's a short pass to Balsers. The Sharks will play it in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Takes it to the net. Goalie with a stop. Excellent chance. They worked the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. Let's send it back down to ringside with Carlin Bade. Couture's been buzzing, and he's been rewarded here. His name in the box score proves he's had a stronger night, guys. Hartman's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Hammers a shot, and that one stopped. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Minnesota's across the blue line. Takes a shot. Face-off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. In the final moments of this period, 2-0 is where we sit. Hurdles won a big draw on their own end. Gets it over to Carlson. Tosses it to Pulsers. A chance to ice it into the empty net. Misses! The Wild have possession along the boards. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. San Jose's looking to break out. Carlson's got the puck along the wing. A shot into the yawning cage. And that's it. I'm not sure this shutout streak is sustainable, but it is sure remarkable to watch. But he doesn't look like he's in danger of giving up a goal at no. any time. He's so confident. The team's good in front of him, and he has been lights out. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck.